Namaskar friends, welcome to lecture 23. Have you ever thought about how the Indian culture is available to us as an unbroken thread? Well, it is only because it has been conveyed through interesting legends, through stories and other art forms. So, <coughs> oral literature assumes very, very, very significant amount of uh, importance in Indian heritage. Today, I shall tell you uh, one such story of Elephanta Caves collecting multiple narratives. Elephanta Caves are named so by the Portuguese after they viewed a life-sized elephant structure right at the entrance of the island. And this elephant structure was then placed by the Britishers at the Victoria Gardens, which today are known as the Jija Mata Udyan or Veer Mata Jija Bhai Bosle Udyan in the memory of Maratha warrior Shivaji's mother. So, what is the original name of Elephanta Caves? Well, the local Koli fishermen call it Gharapuri, the city of caves. The island has two hills with a valley between them. One hill is called the Gun Hill. Why? Because at the top there are two Portuguese cannons and the other is the Stupa Hill, which obviously derives its name from the several Buddhist stupas. These caves were carved out of solid rock sometimes between the mid-5th and the 6th century and the engraved work is not just reflecting creativity and aesthetics but speaks bounties of devout believers and their bhakti yoga. Out of the seven caves at Elephanta, the main cave is dedicated to Lord Shiva and his various forms and this cave is what I am going to be speaking about today. The Nataraj, one form of Shiva, the dancing Shiva. Do you know the elements which he is holding all carry a symbolic relevance? The Damru which he holds in the upper right hand is basically considered to be the first sound of creation. The Agni in his upper left hand symbolizes destruction of the universe. The lower right hand he makes an Abhya Mudra, the gesture which dispels fear. And with his front left hand, when he points it to his raised left foot, it signifies refuge for the troubled soul. What a very salvation. The next panel in the main cave depicts him killing the demon Andhaka. Andhaka from the word Andhakar, which symbolizes darkness and evil. The other end of this cave has a shrine which is dedicated to Shiv Lingam and is guarded at all sides by Dwarpals. Did you know that the cosmic power of the Lingam is so intense that neither Lord Brahma nor Lord Vishnu could grasp either its Adi or its Anth, beginning or end? One of the most exquisite panel at Elephanta Caves is the one depicting the marriage of Shiva and Parvati. The next panel is Shiv holding a Ganga in his matted locks, the Ganga Dhara. In the center of the northern wall is the gigantic figure of Shiva as the Mahesh, the Maha Ish, the supreme god, who is the creator holding Matulinga. Matulunga is basically a citric fruit which uh, symbolizes creation. As the preserver, he is holding lotus and as the destroyer, he is holding cobra. The next is Shiva as Ardhanareshwara, in which Shiva becomes one with his wife, symbolizing the unity of male and female elements in the universe. And the panel below Shiva and Parvati, the panel below shows Shiva and Parvati on Mount Kailash, and it seems as if Parvati is looking somewhere else. And there are stories, there are narrations which says, says that she's upset with Shiva, or maybe she's looking down upon something, but we are not, I am not too sure about why is she looking somewhere else. The next panel shows the demon king Ravana attempting to lift Mount Kailash all reflecting his false vanity and shallow power. It is also added that when Shiva got upset, he just put his foot down and you know what would have happened then. There is also a sculpture showing Shiva with his third eye, the eye of destruction. And the last panel in the main cave shows him as the Adi Yogi or the first Yogi. Thank you for your time, your support and all the good wishes that you have been bestowing upon me. But the beauty of Indian culture is, is so very fascinating that I am enjoying these series with all of you. So Jai Hind, stay connected. Namaste.